the United States consumer and, in turn, the United States government continue to go deeper in debt. Meanwhile, the Russian government continues to buy up all the gold and silver. Where do you think this outcome is going to lead to? Yes, it is happening. Countries across the globe are leaving the petrol dollar. They are realizing the United States, its time has come. Its Rome moment has come. China is no longer increasing its dollar reserves. They are, however, increasing their gold reserves. Anyone who's been buying gold the past six months or longer is sitting pretty. We are all happy with our stash. The U.S. deficit is about to hit $2 trillion every year. That's how much they're going in debt every year. If every citizen wanted to pay back just what they're going in debt every year, every citizen would have to pay over $5,000 a year just to help the United States stop going into deeper debt. However, that's for every citizen. That includes seniors who are retired who take up resources, along with children who take up resources, and also people with disabilities. So that is not feasible. It, it, that number is much, much higher if you include just every taxpayer, because the taxpayers would have to pick up the burden. So if the United States wanted to stop going into debt every year, each person who pays taxes would have to pick up at least $10,000 extra dollars a year to give to the U.S. government, which is obviously not feasible, or the U.S. government could start cutting spending. However, Social Security is going up next year, so clearly they're not cutting spending. Military spending is going up next year, so they're not cutting spending. The interest on the debt is going up next year, so they are not cutting spending. Nothing they are doing implies they're going to cut spending. So the U.S. debt is in a spiral. It's just going to keep getting larger, larger, and larger until hyperinflation, the magical moment.